Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Thousand Year Door. Alright, so who is this speaking here? Whoa, holy crap, you see that in the background? <laughs> Bit of a coincidence, bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Oh, so tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? <laughs> I'm distracted by what's going on back there. Hmm? Ah, indeed, Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Um, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. Uh-oh. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. Well, that's a little pessimistic. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I'll highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop on in. Ho oh, ho, yeah, good one. Uh, sorry, buddy, you're no Alec. Yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, yeah, rough indeed. Alright, so he's gonna huff on back to the inn. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? Uh, yeah. Is there another Princess Peach? Princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is crazy! Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? <laughs> For like the fifth time, yeah. Well, this is really intense. Well, where should, could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Perhaps. Ooh, ooh, I know Mario, come with me! One of my professors is here, researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. We start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to our Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go. Okay, and we've now gained our first party member, Goombella, who is literally functionally equivalent to Goombario from the first game, with, uh, she's just a college girl now. So, press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. And, uh, she'll tell us about where we're at. Pretty much, you know, a little bit useless, but... Uh, if you do run into, like, puzzles and stuff that you can't figure out, she'll pretty much, uh, almost always give you a hint what to do, so... If you find yourself stuck, it, it can actually be a little bit helpful. And, of course, she'll tell you about characters. She knows way too much about people. I don't know how she knows all this stuff, but... Uh, and as I was saying, she can give you hints. And, of course, she can also be helpful in battle. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk, and she can also look up at enemy HP and weaknesses with Tattle. Hey, does that sound familiar to anyone? Alright, first off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I uh, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Franklin looks like. Oh, wow. He's got the same glasses as Kent C. Koopa there, huh? Alright, so now we can run around Rogueport and uh, explore the place. We'll be getting to all these different buildings in due time, so I'm not really gonna waste the time on it right now. Let's talk to this guy. Professor Frankly? Actually, I think a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here. As you enter town from the harbor, just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? This guy steal something important from you? Eh, not quite. And, and also, this is fairly obvious here, this little hangman's noose in the center of town. That's a little bit ominous, huh? Alright, so I say we head over to the east side in search of Frankly. Hey, by the way, Mario, have you saved yet? You see that save block in front of the end? Since we're here, you ought to save now. Yeah, I know how to save. I'll do it later. I'll get around to it, I promise. Oh! Oops, pardon me, sucker. <laughs> what's that guy's deal? Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you! Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half your coins. What? Hey, that's not cool, man. That is so lame. I hate this town. Alright, let's go after him, man. I want my coins back. Okay, so yeah, if we want, we can follow the bandit over here. This isn't really necessary. I mean, you could pretty much just leave him be. But we can kind of walk over to this back alley and go in this house on the left. And, uh, it's disgusting, but sure enough, here he is. Oops! Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. All right. Good, we got all our stuff back. Now, I don't want to see you again. Stay in your little ro Oh my god, look at that. That roach walking around here. Crush it. Ah, well. He'll have to deal with that himself. I'm not I'm not his exterminator. Okay, up. Get out of my way, man. Alright, so now we need to resume our hunt for Frankly, since we've got our 50 coins back. And, uh, we were told he's over here on the east side, so I say we just check out the buildings in here. 
This one appears to have a shine sprite over the door, and uh, this guy should look a little bit familiar. Let's talk to him. Car, your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's do it for free. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. Ah, Merlin. Man, you, you really let your beard mustache thing go, didn't you? I can aid you if you wish with three shine sprites. I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Huh? You don't have enough shine sprites. Be gone! Come back with more! Yeah, I'll we'll go play Super Mario Sunshine, and then I'll come back. Okay, so obviously Franklin's not there. Let's check the next building. And hey, there he is. What do you know? Oh, hi! There you are, Professor Frankly. What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Now, you, uh... I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. Er, it's not Elizagoom. Erm. Erm. Don't strain yourself too much. Aha! I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, Junior Yugoom. Go Goombas! Okay. Of course I remember you, not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you are such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is? Yeah. Who? Oh. Come on, man, everybody knows Mario. Mario, Professor, he's Mario, you know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies, I'm such a bookworm, I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? I hope you tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, it would you would, Professor, frankly. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of dialogue here at the beginning. That's something it shares with the first game. Uh, it's it's going to be going on for quite a lot, so I'm just taking a little break from reading right now. Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure. There are many mysteries surrounding it. Of course there are. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. Hey, didn't we hear about that earlier? To find the treasure of yore, I take the seven crystal stars to the thousand-year door. That just so happened to rhyme, right? You mean the crystal stars in that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same as the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven stars. So does that sound familiar to anyone? We have to go find seven stars? So we hold the map uh, in front of the door, it'll tell us where to go for the next one. A lot of the lore I've read says that this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where to find the crystal stars. Correct, and the thousand new doors supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. Hey, I've got a map. Ooh, over here, pick me. What? Hummina hubbity hubbity hippity hoobity hamala huffala hoofala, really? Nice, good little vocal workout for you there. I can't believe I got that out myself, but <laughs> I'm rather proud of myself for that. Astounding, this is it, the real thing, the one and only magical map. Oh, well, that's good. You, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. Aw, thanks. You can find the crystal stars by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here, then? Kubella, Mario, off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Alright, finally, yeah, let's get out of this place. I've been talking for, like, eight minutes now. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> Whoa, that's a strange way to open a fence there. We can use this pipe to get on none of the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Alright, fine. Oh wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. What now? I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands. Eh, of course we do. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once. No. Bold young lad, aren't you? Stand on the pipe and tilt down to enter it. Alright, well let's go into the sewers. So much like the Toad Town sewers in Rogue Park, we're going to be visiting this place, uh, you know, quite a lot in between chapters and stuff. Uh, it actually serves a lot more of a purpose than it did in the previous game, though, so it's pretty cool. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what's a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Hey, man. Oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute, seriously. 
Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody sings us like that. Nobody. Let's get them. Uh-oh, looks like we've uh, ticked off some Goombas here. And uh, we're probably going to have to fight them, but we're going to take care of that in the next part. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.